Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today is a special day for the Yoruba to Latifa Day, Dimeji, and Bimpe Uyiba Day. As it celebrates Bimpe today, so Latifa and Bimpe are celebrating in a special way. So for some days now, Latifa Day, Dimeji, and Bimpe Uyiba Day have been celebrating in a special way, and Bimpe has been bombarded with several gifts, including surprises from its minimal and a mouse-watching deal with House of Mary Pearl. Latifa and Bimpo Ibadi's journey didn't start to think. Latifa also went ahead to surprise his woman as he celebrates her today. He got a man to speak in his own Igbo accent way and also shout some praises and prayers on her debut day. Today is her birthday. He also went ahead to reveal how Bimpo was born in the early 90s and the circumstances that surrounded her birth. Before Bimpo was born, her mother had only boys and she was praying and hoping that God would bless her with a girl. And finally, God answered a prayer and blessed her with Bimpe Uyibadi. And he said that her mother called Bimpe the love of her life and pure joy, her joy. And Latif says, hey, superwoman, amazing being. Trust me, your strength intimidates me. You are all shades of amazing, no doubt. My pulsing, my darling, my fight buddy, brainstorming partner. I can go on and on with no stops. Happy birthday, Omo Bani, Omo. May the Almighty never forsake you. May the rest of your life be the best of your life. My prayers and wishes for you are endless. Any day, any time, I got you all the way. Happy birthday, darling. Bimpe Uyibadi. But that was not all, as it also had a mini gathering with Bimpe, Latif, and some friends of theirs. Bimpe Uyibadi was born a princess many years ago on March 23rd. That is why she tags her birthday road to 23. She was born and bred in Akure, the Undo state capital. However, she's a native of Ijero in Ikitsu state. And she's the last child of the family. As a child, she wanted to become a newscaster and a model. But then she has been a model all her life. Even before acting career, she was a child model. But because of school, she didn't take it out full time. Until years later, when she graduated from school and then joined an agency in Lagos State, j and Models Africa. And started getting jobs professionally. She became a commercial model. But before that, when she was in school, she contested for some positions, and including Miss Culture, and she won this. So, Bimpo Yubadi has been modeling for major brands in Nigeria, including also Tara, Glam Cosmetics, and so many other brands. She's a dark skinned beauty who knows her onions when it comes to her role interpretation, modeling, and several other things that she's involved in. She's even a CEO of several other businesses. And as many faces are springing up in Yuba sector of Nollywood, and are adding spices and attitude. One of such faces being put your body, a special talent, breaking new grounds and with defining style and concept of self-love. Being put your body for education, attended Asset College and Omoliri School before she went ahead to Kitty State University where she studied English and then went to Edo State Benin for a National Youth Service Corps. This was where she learned about the audition for a movie titled Crossroads. She learned about this and had to go to Lagos State. For the auditioning of this movie and that was the very first movie role that Bimpe got and it was also the movie role that shot her into the limelight because of her excellent performance in this movie after that she featured in several other movies including silent cry ten you like a badge romance wounded hearts broken face unraveled Eshe, and default just to mention a few her parents have always been supportive of her career but then her mother was a bit skeptical because she had all the things planned out for her. She wanted her to go for a professional course, travel out of the country, go for a master's degree. But then Bimpe says she wants to be an actress and her parents didn't have any other choice than to give her. Bimpe is a royal, she's a princess. So apart from being a movie actress, she's also a producer, a director and an entrepreneur. And she says that in all of this, producing is one of the highlights of her career. She has produced about four movies a month including Dear Sister, Entrap, 2707, A Day to Remember, and Adibimpe Omoba. The challenge she faces when producing movies are much, including getting a good location, getting the cast to stay as long as they wanted to stay, to get a perfect job done. Because she is a perfectionist, she doesn't like to rush a movie shoot, but because of circumstances, this is really tedious in the movie industry. So this is one of the challenges she has. It is time-consuming and stressful. But over the years, she has learned to be patient. She says that a patient person will never go wrong. Don't rush things, rather, let them come to you. She's not saying one shouldn't work towards his or her goals, but they should not give up until they get their desired results. 
You can achieve anything and get anywhere in life if you believe, work hard, and you're patient. For Bimbo Yubadi, she believes that her skin color is the best part of her body. That's her favorite part. And she said in an interview that my favorite part of my body is my skin color as it makes me unique in the movie industry. I'm dark and I'm proud of it. As a matter of fact, I get more movie roles because of my dark skin. It is a blessing to me. And for her, she is of the notion that actresses who bleach their skins are not confident and they don't believe in themselves. They also probably don't have any other thing to offer because if they do, they wouldn't go down that route. Dark skin girls are doing very well in the movie industry. She has never been discriminated against because of her complexion. Also, as mentioned earlier, Bimbo Yebadi hits the limelight right from her very first movie role in the movie Crossroad. But then she says that it was not easy as so many people thought it was. In her words, it hasn't been easy like most people think. But like every other profession, as it had its own pros and cons, I'm not complaining because every stress and hard work has its own advantage. I believe success comes only through hard work and perseverance. It was harder when I started and I didn't have anyone but God. I also had people who believed in me because of my performance in my first movie. They were surprised that Green Horn could take up such a challenging role like that. So many actors, directors, producers were impressed. So things are much easier now because I have so many mentors whom I lean on for advice and direction. I'm glad I'm on the right path. For being with though, fame does not really have a big effect on her life, although it has robbed of her privacy. She cannot just post anything on social media platforms without getting judged for it. Also, she cannot vent her anger when she's angry. A lot of people don't understand that they are also human beings with emotions. Everything about them is on social media platforms. It's in the public space and there is nothing they can do about it. But off screens, being with body is a very reserved and cool person. She's not the outgoing type. She cherishes her privacy a lot. She's a loner and it is hard for her to make new friends. So when she's off work, she stays at home watching movies or just reading romance books. For our role models in this movie industry, they include Omotala Jalade, Kende, Jennifer Bonaji, and Toy Abraham. And outside the movie industry, she has Oprah Winfrey. Of course, she has other interests about from acting. As mentioned earlier, she's a mother and she's the CEO of many companies, including Just Organics and Moulin Tree. And she also shares some companies with Ade Dimeji Latif, including Ade Fit. So they do so many other things together. So many Yoruba movie lovers confess that the introduction of Bimpo Yebade into the Yoruba movie industry has announced the breath of fresh air. This Ekiti Bon test I also believe she's bringing something different to the table. She also stated that she's working vigorously to ensure she doesn't disappoint her growing fan base. We're excited to always see her make waves. This dark skin model has worked with top brands, as mentioned earlier, including Tiana's Empire, Black Colony, Yes I Do Bridals, Bash House of Denny, Ola Likuto, Emu Luxury Hair, Here We Are, just to mention a few. So once again, we are joining Ade Dimeji Latifa and Bimpo Ibadi to celebrate this special day. We are saying happy birthday to Latifa Ade Dimeji's woman, Ade Bimpo Omoba. We are coming to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let's know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.